Good morning, friends. It's Saturday, the 1st of June, and it's chilly out this morning. It's raining, and it's probably 56 degrees out, 57 degrees. I don't think it's going to hit much past 60 today, but it's been warm. These last few days, it's been nice, and this rain is very welcomed. But um, being that I live probably... 20 miles inland from Lake Michigan, it stays rather cool. And, you know, in, in the, most of the summer, it's roughly between 70 and 80 degrees. The winters are brutal and cold, but our summers are the most beautiful around. Great, great temperature. I can do 70, 80. Every now and then, you know, we, we hit 90s not too often though and we might have a nice stretch of hot hot weather like that we did last summer but for the most part being so close to Lake Michigan it's a little cooler and it's very very comfortable but anyway I have not done a pantry chit chat since April I think but it May was a busy month I did not know whether I was coming or going at times it was so busy my greenhouse went fantastic. I was able to do videos on that and show you the greenhouse. Such a wonderful, successful planting season in the greenhouse. I was pleased. And not only that, I planted enough. My greenhouse supplied everything I planted in my yards, all my gardens. It supplied my son's garden. It supplied his neighbor's garden. It, oh, uh, let's see, my friend William, Willie, who always gives me all my goodies, you know, it supplied his garden, and he's got a huge garden, and we filled every square inch of it. So, and I even helped him plant it, and I did do a video, so I can show you um, his garden. I'll show you that one. And then my friend Wanda got some plants, and... Oh gosh, a couple other of my friends, I, I supplied my neighbor with some plants. In fact, we redid her uh, flower garden and uh, I helped her with that and she was just in awe with that. So I used every all the flowers from my greenhouse. Her mother, um, I supplied her with a nice flat of flowers. So, I, you know, everybody who sent me seeds and, and everybody who, who gifted me seeds, whatever. I paid it all forward. I planted and I shared everything. So, I always say you're not going to go hungry around me. <laughs> if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach him how to fish, he'll eat forever. So, that's the old saying. I love it. Anyway, the gar the my gardens are all in. Um, and I got a table. I put a table... Uh, probably nine flats out by my road. And I just put a little donation jar there or free, you know, whatever. It's just whatever. Take it. If you, if you want to take it, if you want to leave a few bucks for seeds, leave a few bucks and uh, it's gone. It, it was, it was all gone and there was donations. I was, you know, I was happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I've got another table because my son had taken a whole truckload of flats over to his house so that him and his neighbor and whoever else might, you know, use some of the plants could could have them. But he brought me back like six flats. So I'm going to have to put my table out there again. Not today because it's raining. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Put my table out there and load it up with um, plants again and share. So it's been it's been fun. And I will definitely do that again next year. We're going to be taking the, uh, we're not going to take the greenhouse frame down, but we are going to take the plastic off the greenhouse and, you know, break that down for the, for the season. And, um, I did give you a, a garden update and, a, you know, a walk around the gardens. Oh, they're fantastic. I'm still not done. I still got a few things left to plant and, uh, beans, you know, just little odds and ends, beans and some tomatoes. And I'm going to do a video on it too. I'm going to do some tomatoes in five gallon buckets. Now, I don't know about you all. Some people don't care. They just will plant them in buckets and have buckets lined all over. But I still want them to look nice. 
So is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do a video on it. And I, I'm, I'm sure it can, I can still do it on a budget. Um, very reasonably priced. Maybe even free. Depends. I might, mm, I'll tell you that in a minute. Anyway, with these five-gallon pails, I, you only plant one tomato plant in them. And I've got all heirloom tomatoes, and I've got a lot of tomato plants left. Now, they're a little small, but they will do very good because they're quite healthy. I just got a late start on it. And the tomatoes, if you remember when I did my um, greenhouse update, the tomatoes weren't coming up. Well, they finally did, and they took off like crazy. So I'm going to be planting some of them. Got my iced tea. Love the stuff. Anyway, I'm going to do a video and show you how to plant your tomatoes in a five-gallon pail. And then you take a, a, a hunk of burlap and you wrap that pail in burlap and you tie it on there with some twine. And let me tell you how pretty that looks on your porch. And then, you know, you kind of cover up that old bucket so you can use a cracked old bucket or one that's, you know, just terrible looking, beat up, stickers on it, whatever, and just cover it up with the burlap and it makes a beautiful planter. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do a video on that. That's going to be fun. And uh, I'm excited with my little salsa garden. I did that in the um, uh, kiddie pool. That was a cool video. And uh, that was fun. And that big mound of dirt and my, um, my cow manure out there is, is getting pretty well used up. And what's left over after I'm all done planting everything, I'm just going to put right into that compost bin that's out there and just keep adding to it for, for next year. And I'll probably, is what, what I may do is after I harvest everything in the fall, just put it on top of the beds and, you know, amend the soil for next year. So I'm not sure. But anyway, I never did get them crazy daylilies out of that. I'm going to have to do that next year. But my friend did stop by yesterday. She mows the front part of my grass for me. She stopped by and she said that her husband's got his big daddy rototiller. And he might come down here and till that all up. Now he can. That would be fantastic because I still have time to plant herbs and some flowers over there. And I'll just make a, a dash to the my friend who sells the herbs. I'll make a dash to her little greenhouse and buy some herbs from her. I'm, you gotta excuse me, I am so thirsty. I've just been really thirsty lately, I don't know. And the, and the other day, look at my arm, you can probably barely see it because it's getting better. This whole section in my arm, all the way around to the mid, I got bit by something and it swelled up and got, oh my God, it was nasty. It didn't break open or nothing, but I had scratched it. But I, I thought maybe it's from digging in the dirt and scratching with my dirty hands. I don't know. I got infected. I got like a little cellulitis going on. So I ran and got some antibiotics, and I hate running to the doctor. Sometimes I feel like a fool. But I am so sensitive to stuff. That one little bug bite that, you know, I, I don't know. I think I had an allergic reaction to it. At least that's what he thought. But anyway, it's almost gone, but boy, it just feels really hot still. But thank goodness it's going down because it looked bad. But I kept right on it going. I told him I don't have time for that. <laughs> I got work to do. And my thumbs, my thumbs are feeling fantastic. He gave me a shot of cortisone and wonderful. It, it got me through all my planting and, you know, I haven't been whining. My thumbs have not been hurting. No, I don't have much strength in them, but you know what? There's no pain, and I can do a lot with them. So I'm thankful for that. And a friend of mine sent me um, a brace to wear for your thumb and a little elbow um, band and some gelatin. And I thought, how sweet. Thank you. You know who you are. I can't mention your name. Thank you for that. But I got one thing to say. The brace, it was a large or an X large. I have got such big hands for a lady. It's too small. <laughs> it made my fingers all swell up because it was too tight. 
my granddaughter's here. Speaking of granddaughters, my new grandbaby is just a godsend. What a beautiful little girl. I was with her yesterday. My daughter brought her over to visit, and I just don't let her go. She, she can't put her in the same room with my mother and I because we're just dying to hang on to her, and neither one of us want to give her up. She is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. She went to the doctor the other day. She was seven pounds when she was born. She's like six days old, seven days old now. But she went to the doctor five days later for her little, first little checkup. And most of the time, babies will lose a little bit of weight. And then, you know, they'll, they'll make it back up to their birth weight. But this little girl didn't. She, she exceeded that. Five days later, she had gained a half a pound. So she's doing fantastic healthy and and just beautiful and for those of you who weren't sure how to pronounce her name her name is Sicily Ayala and yes it is family name not Sicily my daughter just loves the name Sicily I think it's a beautiful name it's it's unique you don't see you don't hear of it very often Ayala A-Y-A-L-A -A -A, is Ayala and that was her great grandmother's name so she's it's it's a name that's in the family so Cicely Ayala and she's beautiful and I'm just tickled pink because I get to when my daughter goes back to work I get to spend my daughter works part-time so I get to spend that little bit of time with her when my daughter goes to work and I'm just looking so forward to it I'll never get anything done because I'll just be loving her to pieces and that's all right. I think I'll have all four of my granddaughters quite a bit this summer. I'll be in my glory, friends. Absolutely. <laughs> so we'll do a lot of baking and we'll have a lot of fun. And we did get their garden all planted, too. Their little garden that they wanted to plant for their daddy, who lives across the street from me. Um, so we got everything in there that they wanted, and they're all excited about it. So that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's good for them. They do that every year for their dad, and they love it. So I'm going to have fun with all four of my grandbabies. Our gardens will be, will be busy weeding and planting, and my potatoes. My potatoes are doing fantastic, and I just held them up again yesterday. It was so cute because it was starting to rain, you know, sprinkle a little bit, and I wanted to get those potatoes healed up, but I, I, um, I know the gal that works you know, down at the village shop. And she, I, I chased her down the other day. And uh, I asked her if the village had any more compost or, you know, anything like that. Because I was running low and I use it to heal my potatoes because my potatoes are the no dig method. And she told me, you know, behind the ball diamond, they, they mow the grass in the ball diamond and they put all the clippings, they just pile them up over by the little two track over there. So she told me to help myself take as much as I want. Well, I use grass clippings and straw, mostly grass clippings because it packs down nice and composts nice and holds your plants together real well because there's no dirt there. Anyway, so I rustled up the neighbor kids. They were so cute. I give them 20 bucks and they filled, helped me fill like 10 bags, 10 of my um, chicken feed bags that I save. We filled 10 of them with um, the grass clippings, and uh, I got them all hilled in. And, and just after, I mean a half hour after I got them hilled in, it started to pour down rain. So that's a good thing, didn't have to water them. Anyway, everything's doing pretty good. And it's been busy. And birthdays. We've got so many birthdays in the month of May. Now, the month of June, we didn't have time in May because we usually have one big cookout in May to initiate, you know, bring in the summer and for the May birthdays. And we didn't have time. Everybody was so doggone busy. We just didn't have time. So we're going to do it probably next weekend. We're going to do a big, um, a big barbecue for all the May birthdays. Plus, we're taking all the little kids to the um, drive-in to see Aladdin. Yes, we've got a drive-in, believe it or not. I know a lot of people don't have them anymore. They're, they're you know, few and far between. But we have had a drive-in 
and I can't remember the name of it. Cherry. You know what? It's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, it's in honor. And it's a nice drive, and it's been there since the 50s. So we're taking all the little kids, and we're going to the drive-in for their birthday. And I can't talk too loud because Tootsie Bell's here, and she'll hear me. And yeah, 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 she'll tell them all. So anyway, it's been warm, and it's been nice. I have not gone grocery shopping. I did a little bit of grocery shopping in May. Um, or was it April? I don't know. I didn't go the entire month of April. I didn't go grocery shopping because I used my budget money, you know, getting everything ready for planning. May, I did a $200 run and that was it. But I don't, I got so much stuff. And I just bought, the other day I bought asparagus is in up here. So the other day I bought 15 pounds of asparagus with the full intentions of doing a video on canning it. See my light flickering? It's kind of stormy outside. Anyway, I did, um, I was going to do a video on canning it. I got so busy and it sat in the fridge. And yesterday I gave half of it to my daughter, take it home, eat, do whatever, you know, I'll get more. But I, I, I did some on the grill. I want to put some, I'm just going to freeze mine. A lot of people say, oh, you got to blanch it first. You know what? I just wash it, trim it, and fling it right in the freezer. I, I flash freeze it just raw, just like that, because I I use it for casseroles. I use it for soups, I and I don't blanch it. I, I don't do like everybody else does. It doesn't hurt it, because mine has never lasted more than a couple months in the freezer. So I'm not going to go through all that process just for a couple months. If you're going to store it in your freezer for up to a year, yes, you're going to want to blanch it or steam it, either or. But because mine just lasts for a little bit, a couple months, and it's gone. I eat it a lot. I'm the only one that eats it here. My husband won't touch it either. He's not fond of it. Anything with floweries like broccoli, he, he, won't, he won't eat it. He's, he's goofy. I love the stuff. Anyway, uh, so much going on. I had full intentions of today. I was hoping I could get out and, you know, do the tomatoes in the buckets and get the rest of the plants out front. But it's raining and it's lightning and it starts thundering. And I think I'm just staying in. I do have to make a run to the dump today. We got free garbage um, every Saturday. So I got to take my garbage up to the dump. And it's only about two miles down the road. Other than that, things have been been fun. The month of May was fantastic with the new baby, with all the birthdays, with planting. Everything turned out wonderful. Um, I'm loving this year. Last year, I worked full-time outside the home. And I, I didn't have enough time to do anything. This year, being at home... I am in my glory, loving it, absolutely loving it. And uh, my husband, he uh, works for a local company here driving, you know, driving their semi, they service oil wells. Anyway, he got a, he got an offer, a real nice job offer from a company out of Grand Rapids. And it's a nice chunk of change a year. However, it's driving flatbed over the road, and he's pondering it, but he'll be gone. If he takes this job, he would be gone three weeks and then home, you know, maybe three, four days. He's not sure he wants to stay out for three weeks at a time because I can't go. There, there's just no way I could go out driving right now. I got too much, too much going on here. But normally we, you know, when it comes to a job like that, my husband and I, because I drive semi as well, we will drive together. And uh, But there's no way I can do it this time. So if he goes, he's going to be on his own and I can't be gone. I can't even ride with him now and then because I can't be gone three weeks. I'd lose stuff in three weeks. My garden would be dead. So I won't be able to ride with him at least until after harvest time. If he chooses to take this this job. Which he, 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 he very well could. 
I, I'm, I, I think he's leaning towards yes. I'm not sure though, but that's all right. I mean, I'd miss him. He'd be gone three weeks out of the, out of the month and I'd miss him. But you know, I'm so busy. I'm just so busy here. I'd, I'd, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. And I got Charlie. She's good. And I got the grandbabies. Oh yeah, I'll be busy. I'm going to have just a fantastic summer. Absolutely fantastic summer. And I'm so excited to see how these plants go and how everything grows because I, you know, when you look at it, it's like I grew all these plants from seed in my greenhouse. I planted them. I'm caring for them. So when you stand in front of your garden and you're harvesting your tomatoes and your peppers and your radishes, whatever, it's like such a good feeling. You know what's in them. You know where they come from. And it's fantastic. It is a fantastic feeling to grow all your own stuff. Even, I, I even showed you, if, if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can grow a few things in a little kiddie pool. You can put it in pots. You can grow a, a beautiful cherry tomato. And you can even grow cucumbers in, in uh, five gallon pails so you could grow a, a you know, a salad on your, on your, on your patio or maybe only, you only have one room for a tomato, a, a cherry tomato plant. It's still fun to grow your own. It's, it's fantastic. So, oh my gosh, so much rolling through my head. I'm, I'm trying to, to remember everything I wanted to say and all the update, and I'm just kind of babbling, and I'm sorry, Joy Joy, I'm babbling. <laughs> my cousin says, oh, you go off on a tangent. Yes, I do. I talk about this, and then this pops in my head, and it's like you all are sitting right here having coffee, and I'm dip, 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 dip. <laughs> That's all right. That's me. So, anyway, got to have my tea. I know what else I'm going to do. <clears throat> I did show you how to do the trellises. You know, we kind of showed you how to, we gave you a good idea on how to do the trellises to grow your cucumbers and stuff. I'm going to... Um, Put together another trellis a really easy easy trellis and I might do a video and show you how to do it because I got a lot of cucumber plants out here that came back from my son and those you know what I'm gonna put a little table out here when stuff starts coming in like you know cucumbers and tomatoes and stuff like that and sell some for fresh so I'm gonna grow quite a few of them but I'm gonna make this cute trellis it's out of one by twos and some twine and that's all it is you just screw the frame together put the twine on it you know and it looks like an arbor when you're done with it and it is just darling so we're gonna build that we're gonna make one. my husband's gonna help me make one because I don't dare use the skill saw I'd probably cut my fingers off I I, I won't go near it I'll use a jigsaw <laughs> I can cut with a jigsaw but uh, I won't use that skill saw that thing scares the heck out of me but I'm going to put one together, and I'll do a little video on it. I'll have him do all the cuts so that I can just, you know, screw it together and put it all together. Because that I can do. And I planted uh, runner beans, pole beans, all along my neighbor's fence. I've, there's a fence between my neighbor's and my house, right behind my chicken coop. She's got a nice big fenced-in area for her dog, her little poodle. And that and she's got some flowers and stuff in there and we were looking at that fence one day and I said you know what I said could I grow some beans on your fence oh my gosh yes she says so I've got three nice long pots and like window boxes and I planted them full of green um, pole beans and they're gonna grow all along that fence and it's gonna be gorgeous and then I planted peas I did a, a little box that was from leftover you know from scrap wood that we had instead of throwing it out I just we slapped together a box and I planted peas in there and made a, a teepee out of sticks for her and put it right between like right on our property line so she has that and she can enjoy the peas she can come in my yard and pick anything she wants she already knows that we filled up her I told you already we filled up her uh flower bed 
because her flower bed is huge, but part of it, it's like half of it's on her property and half of it's on mine. It's right smack in the middle of the property line. So we filled that in with flowers because we both enjoy that one. And then I, there's a couple of stumps in there where I had taken down trees in my yard. Oh, about four years or so, four or five, five years ago. And the stumps are still there. So I planted pots with herbs and stuff in them and a couple little flowers. And I, I set those on top of the stumps. So it gives it a little, a little bit of splash of color on the stumps too. But anyway, there's not a whole lot more to tell you because I did kind of keep you updated on everything um, for the bird lovers, for my friends who are bird lovers out there. I have got, I have never seen it in my life. Never. I've lived up here all my life and I've never seen these birds. They're called indigo buntings. I've got two sets of them that come to my feeders. They have been hanging around here for two weeks now. Now I know they're migrating and I know they head to Canada, but this is the first time in my entire life that I've ever seen indigo buntings in my any of my bird feeders that I have ever had. I looked at that and I, when I first saw it, my first initial thought was, oh my God, somebody's little parrot got loose. You know, because here's this pretty little bird. He's almost purple. He's so beautiful, sitting in the tree out there just to sing. And, and I thought, oh, my goodness. And I'm hollering at my husband. I said, who's got a little parrot that, look at that, this little parrot. And my, my mother, she's like, no, no, that's a little indigo bunting. Aren't they beautiful? Mm, yes, they are. So I've got some neat birds. And I've also got um, a couple uh, pairs of Baltimore Orioles out here. So this year, I have got several different, a, a different variety of birds all together that come, you know, frequent my bird feeders, and they eat like little piggies. I, I keep them coming. I got oranges out there for the Orioles. I put a little bit of grape jelly out there. Not too much, because you don't want to give that to them all the time, just for a treat. And anyway, I put a little bit of grape jelly out there, and I give them suet with nuts and fruit in it and I give them the black sunflower uh, seeds and my chickens decided they like those too. So I put those in their feed too. They love them. Them and a little bit of mealworms in their scratch, not their feed, their scratch. So now the birds are happy. The chickens are happy. Now the chickens decided they pick out all the mealworms and they pick out all the uh, black sunflower seeds and they leave the corn, the cracked corn. They leave it. They don't touch it. They want the other stuff. Uh, if that isn't spoiled. And I also added oyster shells to their food because they're going to start laying here probably in another month or so. And uh, I, I, I decided I better, you know, start with the oyster shell, the extra calcium. For their shells and my rooster little rocky he's really starting to look like a rooster i kind of expect him to start learning how to crow pretty soon and i if i can catch it i will get it on video because you will laugh it's a riot when those roosters start crowing it's hilarious it sounds like they're almost choking on it <laughs> it's funny but uh we'll soon find out what kind of a rooster he's gonna be the bard rocks they're usually pretty docile. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a phone call, and I'm filming this with my phone. And my daughter called me to tell me how my grandbaby was doing this morning. They just got up. 1030. She just got up. But she was up a little bit last night. Anyway, of course, as always, I forgot what I was saying. That's just the way it is. Oh, um... I forgot. Slips my mind. Okay, I'm sorry. My daughter just called and I'm filming this with my phone. So I talked to her for a few minutes and then forgot what I was saying. But anyway, today 
because it's raining on and off all day and it's chilly. I don't think I'll be doing much outside today. We might bake because my granddaughter is here today. So we might bake a pie or something. I thought about um, doing like a, an Amish uh, mock pecan pie. It's, it's not made with pecans, but it's a very good pie. It, it's wonderful. But the recipe is called Amish mock pecan pie. And uh, it's made with um, oatmeal, oats. So we may make one of those. I'm not sure. We'll probably bake something because I like to bake. She loves to bake with me. And uh, she has a ball and she learns and she does good. And I took her cupcakes to her school on her birthday. Her birthday was the 29th. And uh, we took cupcakes up there for her. She did not know they were coming. And she was just as pleased as could be. It just lit right up when I handed those over. And uh, so she come over the next night and uh, I said, did you like your cupcakes? Did your friends like your cupcakes? And she says, oh, Nana, it was so good. Oh, those cupcakes were so good. She says, and then the next day was my friend's birthday and we got three more treats. <laughs> so they've been having fun with birthday parties at school. So school's almost out. I think they got to make up almost two weeks of school from when they were off in January from that brutal cold spell we had. So I'm not sure when school actually gets out because I got one granddaughter that goes to, she lives in another county, so the other two go to school here and uh, here in Manistee County. So I don't know how many days they all have to make up or exactly when the end of school is, but it's coming up. They're going to be here for the, a lot of the summer, and we're going to just have ourselves a ball. Plus, we got the school down here that's closed down, but they still have the um, playground. And it's only a block away, and the little girls love to go down there and play. So, you know, we usually walk down there and spend, I just take my little chair with me and, I sit down under the tree and they play for hours. They love it. But anyway, friends, I have kept you long enough. Um, I am so sorry I never did a, a, an update, or not an update, but a pantry chit-chat in May. But it was just so busy and, and well worth every bit of it. I got so much done and it's going to just be wonderful. My harvest this year is going to be fantastic. And I didn't do anything with, you know, stocking your pantry on a budget. I hope, friends, a lot of you are still working on stocking your pantries because I've heard rumors. Now, I don't know how true it is, but I've heard rumors that the cost of food is going, is going to rise again, going, is going to increase. Don't know how true it is, but this is coming up season it's already starting asparagus is out and a lot of you are already ahead of me probably already got strawberries and you're well into you know into harvesting you know uh, garden stuff but we're behind because we're cold up here so but anyway now this month starts because this month the strawberries will come in asparagus is going strong so it's 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 time to get busy and start stocking your pantry and stocking your freezer and getting everything going. Look for good sales, especially after the holidays, like after Memorial Day. Now, there, there should be some good sales going on and stuff like that. So it's time to get busy and get that pantry. Now we're going to be like little squirrels getting our pantries and our freezers all ready for winter again. And it is so fun. I love it. So anyway, with that, I'm going to do some spice blends. I might do a couple today, I'm not sure, but the videos won't be up today because I I do videos and then when I have time, <laughs> when I have time at the end of the day, then I'll, I'll edit them as I go. So usually I try to leave one up a day. And now that it's summer, it might be every other day that I get a video up. But, you know, it's... I got, I got to keep everything going. And I don't think you guys want to be, you know, bored with, with blo uh, vlogs every day about my yard and stuff. 
you know, you, you want to do cooking and you want to do spice blends and you want to do desserts and, you know, you want some cooking videos in there. So I know a lot of people do vlogs every day on how their yard looks and in their daily life. And I just don't want to bore you with all that. I mean, unless that's something you want to know what, what goes on in a day with me, I, you know, it's never a dull moment around here. But other than that, probably every other day. I'll do a video, I'll get a video up because I'll do a video and then take me, you know, the next day to edit it in between everything. So, but yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep doing a, like weekly updates on the garden. So you see how everything's going and uh, we'll have fun. It's going to be a busy summer. It's going to be fun, but I will keep you, I, I will keep you updated on everything and I'll continue to do videos just not quite as frequent as I do in the winter because there's nothing else to do in the winter except cook and, and bake and eat. And I did gain a lot of weight this winter, but I am losing. I think I've, I've probably lost about 10 pounds. So I lost some of that winter weight in the month of May. Thank you, Jesus. Now I can move a little easier. So anyway, that's it. That's enough for today. I've rambled on long enough. It's time for me to get to work. So there you have it, friends. Just a little chit-chat. Nothing, nothing in particular. Just told you what was going on. And you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow.